Hey guys, what is up? In today's video, I'll show you how to fix Valorant Air Fan 68. All right, so the first thing you want to do is try flushing the DNS. Open a command prompt as an admin, and then type in IP config space flush DNS. Tap enter, close this, and then try relaunching Valorant. If that doesn't work, the next thing you want to do is try test your ping. So keep the prompt on. Type in ping 1.1.1.1 and then type in enter. And then again, type in ping uh, 8.8.8.8. And then see which has the lower uh, values. As you can see, in my case, the 1.1 .1 is like 5 ms better or 5 ms better. So to change this, you go to search, view network connections, double click on Ethernet, click properties, find in here Internet Protocol version 4. So mine is. So mine was set to 8.8.8.8. I'll set it now to 1.1. The 8 one is from Google and one is from Cloudflare. So you type in 1, 1, 1, 1. And then second row is 1. The second row is 1, 0, 0, 1. And then click OK, OK. Close all of this and then restart Valorant. See if that helps. Now the next thing you can check if Valorant has exception through firewall. So for that, you go to settings, go to privacy security, Windows security, virus and threat protection. It will open the window in here. Type in uh, setup, uh, manage the protection. Once in here, scroll all the way down and click add exclusions. In here, make sure to uh, to to allow this, the right games. I'll delete it and then add it again. So you go uh, add and then click the second one, the folder, not the file. So the folder and then go to C or whatever your right games is located and then select it. And once in here, go to firewall and then let uh, an app through a firewall. You click on that, it will open this window, click change settings, and then allow another app, click browse. So you can go to C, Riot Games, Valorant, Live, uh, Shooter Game, Binaries, Windows 64, and then select this, Valorant Windows 64 shipping, add, and once you've done all of that, there's one more thing you can try is uh, open run. Type in services.msc. What's in here, click for V, find VGC. Once you find it, set it to automatic. If it's on manual or automatic delete, put it on automatic, click start, apply OK. Restart your PC and then try relaunching Valorant. And that should fix your issue. And that's it for this video. Thank you guys for watching. See you in the next one. Bye bye.